I wanted to hit you up right away on the Parkinson's uh, drug that you've been working on. Tell us. Thank you, Nicole, for first of all having us at this great place in NASDAQ, you know, where we recently got listed. So uh, thank you for that. Uh, the Parkinson's drug that we acquired recently from UCLA, um, it's exciting in the sense, uh, so far for Parkinson's, we only had uh, drugs therapies that uh, address only the uh, symptomology of the, uh, of the diseases. This is the first time we are trying to understand how we can slow down the disease uh, progression. Oh, and, and that is only possible because, you know, what we have learned in the last uh, few years of the genetic components of the disease. Tell us also about your proposed treatment for suicide, PTSD, major depressive disorder. So suicide, as you know, is uh, currently, sadly, to say, it's, on rise. it's an epidemic yeah. proportion. So currently yes. the CDC is telling us that it's the fourth largest cause of death in the U.S. between the ages of 35 and 54, and second largest cause of death between the ages of 18 and 35. Currently, no therapies uh, really improve, uh, you know, approve for uh, suicide. And um, million plus patients are showing up in the ER trying to take their lives, and we have nothing to give them other than we keep them in the hospitals for five nights overnight, and right. then we release them without really treating their neurological uh, diseases. So what sadly what happens is after these patients are, are released, few days after that they'll try the same act again. So you make these acquisitions, right? You're at least growing in part in part by acquisitions. The balance sheet. Where does all of this? come in when we talk about the dollars and cents of Celos. Um, uh so we closed our merger with Apricus and uh, became listed on NASDAQ on January uh, 24th, so approximately two months ago. Right. And simultaneously uh, with that, we closed the $18 million of financing. Okay, so it was like our mini IPO. And uh, our uh, primary focus continued to be the, not only the suicide drug, but for other drugs, for example, uh, you know, uh, we have another drug that we acquired for an orphan disease called San Filippo, which is a pediatric disease. Right. It's a terminal disease where these patients, sad to say, 70% of them do not even survive their 18th birthday. There we have partnered with a foundation that's funding the uh, development of the program. So you're talking about, obviously, things that are needed, yep. growing and research and development and moving these types of drugs forward, as you mentioned, with Parkinson's. But ultimately, what are your goals and projections for the company for 2019? I mean, if you were to give me some numbers, when you're having your board meeting, what do you tell them? So we have focused on three programs. Uh, one is the suicide uh, study uh, that we are doing. We will be having the data sometime in the second half of this year for phase one study before we go into the pivotal study for suicide. Right. That that data is go uh, going to be very critical because this is the first time we'll show the chronic. And what's the date on that? That you're uh, getting that data? And um, most likely early Q4. It is possible we can do it in late Q Q3. Okay. Okay. So that's a critical program. That's number one. Right. Number two, then on the San Filippo, which is a terminal pediatric disease where patients do not survive their 18 years 70% yes. of the time that uh, we will be announcing in the coming weeks uh, the dosing of the first patient. Uh, that study up to 20 pediatric patients and that could be potentially pivotal so that's important. So we're going to get some crucial information on in the how coming weeks. that is going. So right. we've been working on the dose and then we will oh. find out how that Trials going? So uh, we generally uh, have an idea on the dose, but what right. we are waiting for the final sign off from the FDA on the protocol. Okay. And FDA and has been extremely be cooperative. within the month. So within, you know, weeks. Uh, within, within weeks. weeks. Within weeks. Within weeks. Within weeks. Okay, so you know. we'll be watching Seal within weeks to see for your breaking news on that. And what's the third? And the item? third item is the Parkinson's where the exciting part is now we are going to be initiating this study soon and and then we will probably be back here uh, talking to you about you know the target engagement uh, you know if our drug can really engage the target that'll be a very exciting news for us because it's a small drug that crosses the blood-brain barrier and addresses this Parkinson's disease. Let's talk about Parkinson's because this is something that obviously when you talk about across the United States of America it hits so many families. Um, and the development, tell us about the development and what, what are the differences with what you're doing and what are your hopes in the next 18 months? What's your goal in 18 months, doctor? So the, the key here uh, for Parkinson's was so far only symptomatic therapies, not uh, any therapies that can really potentially, you know, slow down the disease. 
now we have focused on alpha synuclein is a protein that all of us have it, uh -huh. but for disease patients, it clumps together in aggregates that are cytotoxic or uh, you know uh, harmful to the cells itself. Right. And once it goes out, those aggregates go out of the cell. It uh, you know uh, spreads from neurons to neuron, causing the massive spread of the Parkinson's. So current, so you can stop that if, or slow that. Somehow. So what we have shown uh, is we can stop the seeding of the aggregation, plus we can stop the uh, propagation outside the cell. Mm -hmm. That's very, uh, you know, differentiated than anything else we have uh, seen. So, How would you describe it if you were to use an adjective about your method, your drug, versus what you're saying it's very different? I mean, what would you call it? So two things. One is it could be potentially disease modifying, which is right. which is a, a, an amazing word if we if we are successful in that. Second is if you look at it, our approach is validated by large pharma. If you look at Roche and Biogen, they have a large antibody program, but they are only focused on the propagation side, stopping right. that, not the seeding, because they have a big molecule that cannot go inside the cells. Talk about um, as I'm looking, you're from Colombia, right? Yeah, you're local, you're, local right? you're a Columbia guy. Local um, I wanted to talk about intranasal. How are how are all these drugs administered? So for suicide, the biggest issue for ketamine was ketamine, although it was approved 50 years ago as mm -hmm. anesthesia, it's an anesthetic drug, it was only available IV, which is not a convenient way to administer it to the patients. Right. What we have done is put it in a very simple device that you spray in your nostrils and, uh, uh, you know, uh, you're good to go.